so today we're going to add a new functionality to delete.com I have the site running on localhost port 3000 when an admin logs in they can scroll to the bottom when they get to the moderate section they can click on this trash can and a confirm delete or a cancel option comes up so this is what we're going to add today and once they click confirm delete it's going to delete all the comments the deal itself the image associated with the deal from cloudinary all the votes associated with the deal are also going to disappear so that's the functionality we're going to add today so stay tuned we're going to head on to visual studio and start coding i'm going to make it super simple to understand we're going to dig into the code the api and everything that you need to know to get this done if you have been following my channel i've created an admin panel so far and I've also created a video on how an admin can ban users. So why would somebody delete a deal if the deal is expired or if it was spam or if it was a duplicate? Those might be good reasons for a deal to be deleted. In my previous videos, I have explained how Next.js renders pages. Pages API is responsible for data and every other folder or file is supposed to render a page this link is localhost 3000 slash post and a post id so if i head over to pages post and then we have a file named with id in brackets that is what renders the post slash post id page this is the file we're going to edit and add the feature today i can search for the word moderate this deal because the delete option was next to it moderate this deal posted by and there's the edit button and there's the delete button so when I scroll down it says if visitor is admin or visitor is the poster or whoever posted the deal then show the delete icon this is the delete forever icon and when we click on the delete icon it calls a function called delete my post delete my post function all it does now is it just says if you're not user please sign in to delete so we must add some functionality here so first things first let's add a state and this state in react will be what we will use to decide if a deal should be deleted or not so I'm going to add a new state here called state delete and the state delete will be set by a function called set state delete and initially the state will be false because we do not want the deal to be deleted so state delete is our state variable that we will be using and set state delete will be the function that will help us to set a state true or false to state delete initially it is false so let's use this in delete my post function if it's not a user we're good to say please sign in else let's set state delete to not state delete which means it'll simply set the state opposite to the current state of state delete so remember the state delete initially was false when somebody clicks delete my post it'll just set it to true when they click it again it'll set it to false so it is just gonna set it to the opposite of the current state that's why we say set state delete of not state delete now how are we gonna use this let's head back to where we have the button we do not want a user to accidentally click this button once and the deal gets deleted sometimes they might click this by accident so what we must do is when they click here we should pop up a confirmation button or a cancel button so let's do that so under the button that's responsible to delete let's add a grid grid is a material UI component so I'm adding a grid here container and under the grid let's add a box box will help us set some margins my equal to 3 will give a vertical margin of 3 and inside that let's add a button so I'm gonna add a button and the button is gonna be of color secondary and on click 
the button is gonna call delete my post again I'll explain why and the button should say confirm delete so we now have a button that says confirm delete we should also add one for canceling the delete option so let's do that we add yet another button let's change the confirm delete to a color of error and let's change this one to cancel when I head over to the moderation section I see a cancel button and a confirm delete button let's change the variant to outlined and I like the button smaller so I can put size equals small this might look better in that area so I change the button sizes to small let's see this in action now they're so close to each other which is not preferable and looks like we have a typo here that's the S that we can remove there is something called button group that can be used let's head over to material UI site and search for it so I'm looking for button group basic button group one two three so we can use a button group I'm simply gonna copy that whole thing and put it inside my box and now I can bring in my two buttons inside the button group I might not have imported button group so it might error I have so now that I added both my buttons under a button group they look better they look like they're together so let's add some margins I'm gonna add a MX equal to 3 so that pushed the button to the right a little bit and I think we should be using contained here as well that makes it look slightly better we should also add some icons for cancel and confirm so material UI has the option for start icon so for the first button I can say start icon is equal to so I'm adding an icon here start icon can be set to cancel outlined icon it's basically an icon I imported from material UI so now we have an X next to cancel and for the second button as well let's add an icon so here I can add a start icon as well so right now these buttons don't do anything other than call the delete my post function yet again but let's add some verbiage under it for that I like to use topography and I'm gonna use the variant caption because that's small letters and inside the typography caption we're gonna say this action cannot be undone so now we will have the typography appear next to it we want below it so it looks a little bit cleaner so for that I can add the typography around a box my of 2 should be good enough which just gives it a margin above and below so now just check it out it is below the button I would also like this to be centered to the buttons so I can add a grid container justify content equals center and justify content of center is going to center this verbiage so now it is centered to the button now let's head over to the function and make delete my post functional so looking for delete my post again so right now it is setting the state to the opposite instead we are passing a second parameter here from delete my post let's head back to the buttons 
So the first icon button is just passing an event and passing false. The cancel button is passing a false and the confirm delete should be passing true. I will tell you why. So the only delete my post button that is passing a true is the confirm delete button. In our delete my post function, we're going to use this second parameter called confirm. So if it's not a user, sign in. Else we're setting the state of delete to the opposite of what it is now. And here we can say if confirm. For now, we can just display a message that says deleted. So we're going to have to make an API call later, which we will write inside this function to actually delete the post. But for now, we're just going to fake this and say deleted. Deleted the deal. So now if I click on confirm delete, it says deleted the deal because this confirm delete button is passing a parameter called confirm true. Everything else is just passing false. So the confirmation button is going to let the user actually delete the deal. These cancel confirm delete button should technically only display after the user clicks this button. So right now they just display all the time. We do not want that. So let's head back over to our code and let's find the icon button here. So the icon button for delete has delete my post function and under it we have coded our two buttons. So we can make this conditional. Remember the state that we had declared it was called state delete. So we can use that here. So state delete and show the verbiage. So this is the syntax. So if it is state delete, then we show this entire grid. So now if I refresh the page, the confirm delete and cancel buttons are gone. And when I click on delete, then they show up. So right now, when I click on it, it just shows up abruptly. We probably want to add some smooth transitions to this. So let's do that. In Material UI, I can search for transitions. Under transitions, there are various options. They have collapse, fade. We can try and use grow. So let's use grow here. So one of the first things you have to do is import grow from Material UI grow. So I added import grow from material UI grow. In is whatever variable triggers it. And then they have a timeout of 1000 milliseconds. So we can use this. So I'm going to copy this entire grow section. And coming down to the state delete area, instead of grid container, I can probably wrap this around grow. So I'm going to wrap this around grow and we do not use checked. We use a variable called state delete. So let's use that and we don't need style of transformation and all that. And our timeout is going to be unconditional. We're going to have a delay of 1000 regardless. So let's just hard code this as 1000. Let's see this in action. Now, if I refresh the page, I scroll down and click on this button, you see the buttons appear with a transition and they click on it. It disappears when they click on it again, it appears and there's the grow transition. Now, when we click on confirm delete, it still has a dummy deleted this deal. So let's go ahead and execute the function to actually delete the deal. To start building our delete function under confirm, let's make an API call. So I have rest D is await fetch an API. The method is going to be delete and we're going to build the body. So constant body is going to be containing a post ID. And my post ID is actually stored in 
post ID that is nothing but the ID of the post that is obtained from the post ID here I'm storing it in post ID and that's why it is available and we should also pass a secret so the post or the deal can only be deleted by valid admin users so I'm passing the secret as process.environment.secret which is a secret key that is needed for this delete API call to be executed under API let's build a delete option for post so under post we should build a delete option so inside our API folder we should have a post folder and then an API that would actually delete the deal so let's head over to API folder and then I have a post folder and we should create a new folder here called delete so API post delete will be what gets called here API post delete in our post delete index.js I already built a few things to save some time you can ignore some of this initial portion they are just connecting to the database connecting to cloudinary and I have the cloudinary host name API key etc by the way cloudinary is where I store the images this is a delete API so it's handler dot delete and we are getting from the request dot body the post ID and request dot body if you remember we were passing something called a secret so the secret passed from the body should be equal to the process dot environment dot session secret otherwise we do not allow this deletion to happen and then we're connecting to the database here I have a few collections one of the collections is the votes for each post in this case there's one vote there's one up vote and that is what we're going to delete here the vote post where post ID should be post ID let me show you the collection in MongoDB so this is the votes post collection as you can see the votes have an ID it has if it was up or down and then it has the post ID so all we need to do is delete all votes post that have the post ID that we are deleting so that is what we're doing here from votes post delete many post ID should be the post ID that we are passing and likewise another collection I have is comments post so posts have comments so the same scenario there as well I am deleting the comments from each post where the post ID is the post ID that we want to delete so I'll show you that in mongodb compass as well so this is comments post and I have post ID and we are required to delete all the posts comments all the comments of the post that have the post ID that we are deleting so these two will take care of deleting the votes for the post and the comments for the post and thirdly we have to delete the post itself which is stored in the post collection there's only one post or one deal that we're deleting which is why this is delete one and it's not delete many delete many is also a mongodb function and delete one is another mongodb function to delete just one document and here we need to delete the id which is the post id that we are getting up here from the request.body so this post id that we're using everywhere it comes from the request.body that we are passing from the client side and i'm going to head back here if you see the body it has post ID that we are passing this post ID is nothing but the ID of the post that we are getting from the post itself so heading back to the admin API delete many for votes post delete many for comments post and delete one for the post collection so this is a very good learning right here we are using mongodb queries delete many and delete one now we're gonna do a cloudinary API call I have cloudinary stuff imported here they're all ready to go so let's find the syntax to delete an image 
So I was looking at Stack Overflow and I found an API call that will help us delete something. I don't want to use the admin API which I have the ability to use but there are restrictions on the number of admin API calls that you can make per day. So we're going to use this free version which is the regular API. So I'm going to copy paste that here cloudinary.v2.uploader.destroy and sample is the path to the image. We only have post ID coming in the body. It would be nice to get the picture, the URL of the image also in the body so we can use that instead of sample here to delete it. So let's get that. So if I look at the posts collection, I have the picture stored under deal pick and it is a cloudinary image. So we can get that using post.dealpick. To get the post.dealpick, we should pass it. Let's call it deal pick. And then it would be post dot deal pick. I have the post ID as post dot underscore ID, the ID of the post. And then the deal pick is post dot deal pick, which is the deal picture stored in the post. In the API, now we can accept it as deal pick because we are passing it as a part of the body. So deal pick is request.body. And now I can use this request.body as the URL that we're going to delete. So we're saying cloudinary destroy the deal picture and console.log the result or the error. For now, I'm going to comment out the posts because let's look at everything else in action. So when we click delete function from the client, it should come here, execute the delete votes post and then delete the comments and then delete the image. We are not quite deleting the post yet because I want to see what the post looks like when the posts vote and the comments of the post and the image are deleted. So we can see what's going on. So let's see this in action so far where we are not deleting the post, but everything else associated with the post is being deleted. And I'm clicking delete and the confirmed delete comes up here and the confirmed delete is hopefully gonna delete it. And it says deleted the deal. So when I refresh, as you can see, that the vote there was one vote here and that's gone there was a comment here and that is gone too we can retry by saying this is a comment and add this comment and we can go ahead and upvote a couple of times for testing purposes i have set it in such a way that the admin can vote a few times so we can test this functionality so now we have a comment and we have a few votes again. Let's run the delete again. So we delete, confirm the delete. And when we refresh, we should see that there are no votes on the post and the comment should have gone too. After doing some research, I found that Cloudinary only requires the ID, which is the public ID used as the name of the JPG file. So in our database, we are storing the URL from Cloudinary. We're extracting the public ID over here using a regex. Actually, I changed it to a regex. So it is basically getting the last part of the URL, which is in fact the public ID. And the cloudinary.uploader.destroy method is being passed the public ID. And I have verified that it in fact deletes the image from Cloudinary. So let's see this in action so far. Let's execute the delete. So confirm delete. It is in fact a success. When I refresh the page, it should not have any votes. It does not have any comments. The image is cached, which is why it appears here. But I can assure you that the Cloudinary delete worked and I checked in the Cloudinary library and the image was deleted. So now that we have verified that we are deleting the votes on the post, the comments on the post 
and we're deleting the image associated with the post we can uncomment this statement here which is actually going to delete the post itself it will delete the whole post let's see this in action on another deal this is an old deal that i can delete it's from a couple of years ago and this has two up votes one down vote and it has a comment so let's click on the delete button and I'm going to confirm delete and the deal has been deleted. In this case, we also deleted the post. So now I'm refreshing the page and as you can see, the post has been deleted and it's got a 404 error. So let's recap on what we did to make a delete functionality available to the admin. The first thing that we did is under the pages directory, we went to the post folder and pulled up the id.jsx this is what renders each post and we added a button that was responsible to delete our post so the icon button here it calls a function called delete my post and when this was clicked we are setting the state so let's go to delete my post in delete my post function we are setting the state of state delete to the opposite of what it is and state delete initially was false so as you can see state delete here was initially set to false our delete my post function is setting it to true the first time it comes around and heading back to the button that we had to delete our post once the delete my post function is called and the state is set we are then able to display the other two buttons because the state delete is now true hence we are now displaying all the elements under grow and under grow we have box under the box we have a button group it has the cancel and the confirm delete buttons as shown here the cancel is simply going to cancel out of the delete functionality and when we click on confirm delete it is going to delete the whole deal we also added a verbiage with this caption and it uses the material ui typography that also has a box with a margin of two vertically and when the delete my post function was called we created a new api call and the api requires a body and the body is being passed the post ID the picture of the deal so we can extract the public ID so we can use it in Cloudinary we're passing a secret so only authorized users can request a delete and then we are fetching the API and the API is post delete it's a delete method and once the delete is complete we're saying the deal has been deleted ideally we should check if rest d dot status equals 200 then show the message that the deal has been deleted else we should show an error and instead of info i should show an error and say something went wrong so this way the message deleted the deal successfully will only be shown if the deletion was successful in our API we are making four calls one is to the collection votes post to delete all the votes that been cast for the post we are also deleting all the comments associated with the post that uses delete many we have delete one here because we just want to delete one post which is the post ID and last but not the least we are deleting the image associated to this deal or this post from cloudinary and that would complete the deletion of this deal so friends i hope this was helpful head over to delete.com if you like to post a deal that you may have found or if you want to find deals that others have posted you can go in and cast your vote you can upvote a deal or you can comment on a deal 
And if interested, you can sign up. It's real quick using your Google ID or your email. And once you're signed up, you can click on vote to vote on a deal. Or you can comment and join the conversation with all of us about different kinds of deals. So come on in and join us in the conversation. And I hope you found great deals. But I hope this video was useful to you because I explained how we code APIs and how we make changes to the UI and more videos coming soon with more content on Next.js and React.js. If you like this video and if this was useful to you, please give me a thumbs up and I will be making more videos that will help you learn Next.js, React.js, MongoDB and Material UI. Take care. Cheers.